forward two or back forward two. It's one of those inputs. It's the up punch. Solid. That one. Or up punch, Solid yeah. Trap dungeon. Alcatraz looking ready. And Al Alcatraz has had a lot of surprise upsets in our history. He, he has definitely he definitely clipped a, a couple people with Cheetah and Injustice 2 uh, with that Demo Sonya back in MKX. Now, how much of the work was Demo Sonya doing? Oh, she was, she was really good. <laughs> Demo well, Sonya was a very strong character. Oh, this, 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 is, this, is a real, this is this is kind of a cool outfit on, on Sonya. I wasn't sure if this was a button check or not, but I'm gonna say I think it is the game. I I swear that was a button check too, but they were just pressing buttons looking for whip punishes, I guess, right out of the gate. And Sonya's got some a very annoying zoning, if you guys don't know at home. And to start off with a crushing blow of Alcatraz, we completely we, we, we thought it was a button check, so we so we didn't really get excited. Yeah, we didn't get this is exciting but though, but Slayer's finally in after getting zoned for a lot of Woo! this. This is gonna be some damage. Did not amplify that. Wow, that was that just again. that was just like a like a block stagger, and then he walked into a slow mid. Like that was kind of gross. Oh. Whoa! If you if, if using you, it first, oh, round. Al Alcatraz, you got to get your defenses here, otherwise this is death. Wow, that was if death. You if yeah. you would have, guys, if you're in the fatal blow, you gotta hit those threes on the hits. So, so that way, if, if you've gotten hit with the fatal blow, you can reduce the damage on each of the hits. Or if you're doing the fatal blow, try to increase the damage on the hits, as you saw Slayer get with the red skulls appearing. Oh, great punish here from Alcatraz on the Nomad Dash being blocked. Good amount of damage there, too, off of it. Wow. Oh, great jump in. Cabal has one of the farthest reaching jumpments in this game. I'd say right behind Devora. Looked like a delayed wake up there, too, on Alcatraz. Woo! Coming in hot. Looking for that jump in, I think, again. Great use of spacing here. Ooh. Alcatraz learning from the past mistakes of letting Cabal get too close while firing one of those projectiles. Punishes the Nomad Dash with one of those. This could have easily been one of Alcatraz already. Yeah. If, if, if it wasn't for, for somehow Slayer being really clutch with a couple of these fatal blows. And I love the pace that Alcatraz is playing at. He is actually... And, 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 and I thought there aren't many characters that can do it against Cabal. Because I, I feel like Cabal is one of the characters that controls the pace of the game. Uh, one of the best in MK11. But Sony Blade's doing a really good job of that. Ooh! Got punished for that rollout. And, and, and as we talk about how many good things Alcatraz is doing, this third round is looking like a wash to the corner. We go. No commitment by Alcatraz. If you're down this much health, you gotta commit. He's gonna get the breakaway out. Oh, and he's getting thrown into the blender again by Sonya. This is gonna be a decent amount of damage. One more mix. Ooh, oh, I, I think he met the fatal blow off that low. No, not like this. Oh. Is is that low? He Can't still pull? Yeah, I, 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 I think right now that they're talking about. What were you saying? Uh, no, should, should I, uh, I just need, let me, I'll be right back. Okay, but yeah, so right there. I think that he meant to cancel that low into the fatal blow, and I think they actually just, just just discussed that amongst themselves, as that was actually kind of the winning decision by Alcatraz. Can't let it get to him whatsoever. He's going to stick to the zone-heavy game that's very effective, because Sonya Blade able to shut down that aerial projectile, which is so annoying for anyone trying to play a decent grounded game to try to get in on Cabal, or even try to anti-air, react accordingly. It's got such little recovery to it. Really good jump there by Slayer, though, and there you go, trying to make the air-to-air -air read. And it's hard to air-to-air that thing. Nice neutral jump. That that jump. Uh, two is I believe. Oh no! Thought that it was over, but Alcatraz getting the crushing blow on the amplified uh, onion rings. All he needs is a hit here, and the, he can't really make that read uh, on the anti airs like we saw earlier from Alcatraz. Wait, just a dang minute! Is this fatal blow going to actually be enough for the kill? Not like this, Alcatraz. Oh my goodness, Slayer, so clutch in these moments. Round two, Alcatraz, you got to feel for him as he is getting so close and getting it taken away every time, it seems. Back to the full screen we go, where Alcatraz has, has been in control this entire time. Slayer making just a couple of great reads out of nowhere like an RKO, inching his way ever so closely.
And Alcatraz may have to try to just zone more. You know, Slayer is still sticking with those aerial projectiles. And as long as he keeps calling those drones, it's going to keep that uh, shut down. Getting those lows and amplifying it for the side switch. That was a scary situation. That's very minus, I believe. That little up kick canceled uh, that, that he attempted. Let the wake up roll uh, go a little, a little too unchecked. I, I should say, getting the instant jump one as well. And I'm so scared for both these because Alcatraz is getting close. This is going to be close to the kill, but not enough. 40 away. Good, good tech right there. Gets the air there. Al Alcatraz stays alive. Slayer was on match point right there. Gets a second chance here to close it out now and not go the distance. But doesn't have this fatal blow that has saved him quite a few times here. Let's see if Alcatraz calls some more drones to shut down these aerial projectiles. As he, he just let Slayer really inch his way in. Full screen. Blowing up the gap in between the regular and regular Amplify. Here comes some aggression out of Alcatraz. What's the mix-up going to be? Slayer uh, really beat out the negative frames of the jump with the down one right there. A lo lot of whiff recovery on empty jumps, guys. The zoning in effect for Alcatraz here. Coming in hot are those drones. Knocks him back full screen. He's got to be careful there. He is starting to get kind of inched to the corner. Throws him to the corner. Scary situation. One for the application. They got him with the entire Alcatraz. It's going to tie us up at one to one. What? I don't. I That may have been a read. That was so dang quick. Alcatraz looks calm and collected. Slayer knows that he is in the middle of a fight right now. This is a scrap for top eight. One to one. Slayer was in this position in the last round. But Alcatraz looks so determined. And the way that game number one went, I think Alcatraz is feeling really confident. The way that he played that game one, he was, again, a, if the Fatal Blow would have come out of the low, reacting with the entire... Oh my goodness! Alcatraz in control! 418 damage? Are you kidding me, Mama Blade? Almost, oh, I mean, working on a flawless... Victor right now doesn't get it. The down one for Slayer. Giving him something to breathe off of here. If you saw Alcatraz react to any kind of movement upward with that thing. Waking up with the down two. Up three saving Slayer there from a potential trip down territory. The entire down one match point now for Alcatraz. Round two. Fight. Good start here by Slayer. Can he get some kind of offense going? Alcatraz has not let him breathe so far in this deciding game. The overhead hitting with a giant hitbox above her. Bring back down to earth. No air escape, even potential there for for Slayer. I think that's why he kept it with the low rather than uh, commit to the overhead, even though it looked like he was going to be guaranteed the punish on the jump over. But I mean, if you're Alcatraz, I would say go ahead and get him off those two bars. This is going to give Slayer though a fatal blow if he gets the hit. Scary territory now. I mean, this this isn't life-threatening if, you, if you're Alcatraz. <gasps> no defensive bar. Any hit right now is going to do it. Good blocks by Slayer on the lows. In kill territory, that is, that is you know, the best option to block is the low. Or it's going to be the risk and not going to block the same time around. And Alcatraz with the upset of Slayer sending in the losers. Getting into the winner's side of top eight. OD.